Hey everyone, back once again. Uh, we're going to take a look more at my settlement stuff that I've done mostly off screen for the character here. We're coming back off of the airship in the wasteland. Yeah, that I think it's that one right there actually. So uh, yeah, you can start seeing more of these airships popping up uh, all throughout the commonwealth, which is pretty cool. I am completely overcumbered because I got a bit, my butt pretty kicked. Uh, real badly <laughs> in that little mission, so before I even continue doing another mission, I gotta go reassess the situation. So we're taking out the double barrel, we don't need that. I don't really use the 9mm too much. Um, I became a big fan of the 45 auto here though, so let me see what I got for my 45 auto. I got the Tommy gun, mostly from like an immersion weapon factor, I've been liking it. I think I'm gonna get rid of it for now. So let's put that in place of the Tommy gun there. Uh, 308, 556, 44, 44. I don't think I have a 44 weapon, so that works out good. In terms of 308, I'm going to use that over these because mine's better and looks better too, quite honestly. So we'll put uh, these two there. Let me favorite this right here. And, uh,. Um, five, five, six. Yeah, let me show you, uh, show off this weapon right here, the sniper rifle. Show it off a little bit, you guys can see a bit of it. Um, let's see if I can uh, actually inspect it for you guys here. It just kind of looks like with the graffitied, um, stock, so. Yeah. Looks like garbage, but I kind of meant it to be that way so there's a switch blade the shotgun which was uh, part of the creation club they give away for free because the one year anniversary there's that there's the bar which now i can actually see it looking like a bar i don't know why i didn't think it looked like it before service rifle which is pretty nice i don't know what happened to the the back back of it the uh just i don't know I don't know why, it just looks like a lead pipe. I'm kind of really thrown off. I, I don't know if I changed it somehow or what, but... And then this little revolver here, that was uh, saving my life. So right now we're sporting like a custom um, Minutemen outfit that I find that I just found laying around. It's pretty good. So this faded trench coat looks pretty nice. Maxon's battle coat. That's the one. Look at that, 50? What the heck? That's the one right there. Sea Captain hat. I don't need that. I do like the uh, Silver Shroud costume also. Very professional looking, my dude. So I think we'll use that. And the Miniman helmet still. So... The bandana doesn't really add anything, so we'll get rid of it. I can't get over what happened with the Hatman and the daughter of the man right in front of their eyes. The Amber and Anthes. So, and you guys I can actually see my uh, Nuka Cola Pit Boy here also better. Another thing that was given away for free from the Creation Club one year anniversary. A lot of people were dogging on the uh, Creation Club and whatnot. I think the fact that they're giving away stuff uh, for free. Just goes to show that hey, there's got to be better stuff coming along, right? At least in their eyes. And I need to start taking more, more food with me because that was a pretty, pretty rough situation there. How much does this weigh? Twenty. It's pretty hefty. Minimum and alpha was only, was only seven out of twenty-six. Huh. Pretty, pretty hefty there. Let's go here and take... I have... I'm gonna need probably like that. I'm gonna need... I don't have any stim packs. This is sarsaparilla. I'm gonna take a bunch of you. I don't get into too many fights, but uh, I'll take, take those. I do sneak around a good bit. Acid was a good find. 
and the antiseptic there was a good find also. Hmm. I think I just throw away also. Escalanius. I don't think so. Alright. I'm gonna sleep for a little bit. Oh yeah, I went and rescued this uh Shiba Inu right here. I know it's got the look up the lookup failed though, but there he is. He works, I can talk to him. I think I can pet him. Is he gonna let me pet you? He's gonna bark. Yeah, it's just gonna bark. This guy's all working and whatnot. This guy's working out. I need to actually use yeah. the little weight bench there because it will give me the uh, strength bonus. I don't want to do that. Let's take it to the morning. Maybe not exactly to 10 a.m. Let's take it about 7. Right about 7. This guy will be done with that. Working out with the backpack also. There's a modifier I can get for it where it's going to be able to give me the... Um, so this will give me a strength modifier and then the backpack will give me more carrying weight if I modify it later on. So that's kind of what we're aiming for there. So wait for this dude to finish what he's doing. Yeah, the dude. Fun. Finish it. <laughs> That's great. Now I should have the uh, strength modifier from that now. So I don't know if there was a pop up and I just missed it or if it just didn't give it to me at all. It says plus, which I'm imagining not from any of these things. So. How's my settlement doing there? We actually got attacked by um, a whole bunch of feral ghouls a couple days ago. It really, really did a number on us. Oh shoot, there's a initial workbench right over here that's getting conflicted. Um, I don't really have a spot for you, that's a thing. Let me kind of like throw you right there. So. If you guys know how to change the elevation on this stuff, please tell me, because it just drives me nuts. I can't figure it out. So I know I how to move it closer to you and all that with the mouse, but I don't know how to change the elevation on this thing. So I don't know. I think I might move this right right here. Yeah, because it doesn't look too bad. So contrary to belief this ammunition oh where it's ammunition. I was thinking GTA there for a second. The, the uh, ammunition workbench is not like giving me anything crazy. So. This dude's little scavenging hasn't given much either, I think. So we got the food, we got the power. Let me go up here. You can kind of see the idea here is I want to build up um, for my settlement. So we have this little area right here, this is a modern weapons um, machine, there's a tree there, and then you actually might take it out, so, mm -hmm. of course we'll expand this out and have flooring kind of be the roofing of this, so I don't want to use two, I don't want to, for this settlement in particular, I don't want to um, devote the life of it to sim settlements. I know it'd kind of be easy to do that, I guess, but I'd rather not. Let's take a look here. Commercial plot. Yeah, like right here, I'm still trying to. Let me see if we move it a little bit. Yeah, it's kind of clipping weird, so I'd really go custom for this one and then figure it out for the rest. So we definitely need a lot of little wood there. Got a big old foundation. What I need is not resources, stores and traders and all that. But I need local leader two, which I wanted to get. But I need to be level fourteen apparently instead. 
So ignition. This right here, I need. I need armor for. That's what I need local leader for. So almost everything I need local leader for, which is a pain in the butt. But it's just how it is. City planner. I'm not gonna worry about it here. Like I said, uh, cooking stations and all that. We already got. I think we got two. No, we had one down. In the middle of town. So. Yeah, even for like the weapon benches here, I need local leader. So yeah, I can't do I can't do anything without local leader too. And then eventually I'll need blacksmith. And I already have gotten up there, so that'll about do it for those. Hmm. That's how far away I am. So I am level twelve. Armors down this way, and I gotta increase my strength, of course. I got one in strength. I don't know how I'm not getting just body whopped all around. So, let me move you right here. You're not gonna let me move you right there, are you? I'm gonna store, store these shack walls. We're gonna expand out a bit. What can I do? Metal, metal roof. So I know it says these are roof, but I might use these as flooring, honestly. I don't know. I might just keep those as the, the roof, honestly. So. Hmm. It doesn't look that bad either. Yeah, I'll probably. Let's just do that. So. This is gonna be the definition of, like, Megaton. <laughs> So, oh, I'm really low on steel. What the heck? This is actually a first. So, yeah. Carpeted floor also. Dang, I'm actually, yeah. I'm really low. On that steel. So. Is that also... Hmm. I really hope in Trash Can Carla or somebody use a trader. Uh, I'll be able to come over here. I, that scavenging bench needs to do a better job at giving me stuff also. And six people and seven beds. Uh, where's the... Walls. Now these are what I had. Right here. So... Get those and then you can see out here for now. Maybe close this area off. So um, it kind of looks a little, looks a little rough, but make it work. I love to put the traders up on these, this floor right here, the second floor. Put the rooms on the very top. Mercations on the third floor, and then anything on the first floor will kind of just be defensive. So. I know that my whole strategy here is going to just change entirely when Fallout 76 comes out because we'll have deterioration and all that and destruction and building up would probably be uh, a nightmare. So we'll just make we'll just make it work when that comes. It'll be all different uh, mechanism to work with, all new game mechanics. So he is yeah he's working on these. You're working on food. We honestly have enough food. That's the thing. Can I get another person scavenging? Garden plot scavenging. I need steel. Of course I need steel. Can I get another surgery chair? Barber chair. I need steel for the barber chair. Of course I do. I can... I can take a chair. I don't need all these chairs, right? Take that little we'll this right like here. Barber chair. Deuces happiness. So I wanna let me put the barber chair down. Hmm. Well, ain't that a kick in my head, because it's not let me put down the barber chair. Resources? Barber chair. I'm missing. I am apparently missing something. Steel cloth wood aluminum requires person, produces happiness. Doesn't need anything else. 
I swear it was showing up before. I don't know why it's not showing up now. And I need that because my knee's going to look all rough. Surgery chair. Carry the person. Let's just put this right here. And then we'll tell... You guys are working hard over there. Here, sign to that. Where those ladies at? I thought I saw one. I might be sleeping. I'll take this one right here, this tall one. I don't know if she's supposed to be an orphan or something, but she's huge. That's not... It's not normal. Alright. I think I signed you to that, did I? You're assigned to that. Yeah, okay. So now you're going to be functional, right? Go do your job. This is not going to work. Use the surgery chair to alter your appearance. Use the barber chair to alter your hairstyle. Why doesn't put it down? Alright, are you... Can I talk to you? I need a new face. When I grow up, I'm gonna have my own farm and make other people do all the work. Okay. Alright, that's, that's one way of putting it. I can't believe I'm having this orphan, like, 14-year-old fix my face. I can't change the hair, of course, yeah. I gave myself a better... I don't know. <laughs> I really mess up my character again. Changing those up a bit. It's not really that pale. Hmm. His ear looks a little, a little weird on the right side compared to the left. Does not let me do the, uh, Facial hair? Just so you know, I'm keeping my eye on you. Oh, oh, okay. Alright. A little creepy. Alright, so we changed, changed our character a bit. Ugh, mole rats are gross. So I think it was like right down here. So... Alright, confirm. That's my character. Looks like he probably lost a little bit of weight. And uh, that's that's the story there. So there's my dude. So we're gonna go out. Some adventures. Tactical armor is like going through going through that. I get a good bit of protection though, that's the thing, so I don't know if I really wanna take it off. Psycho damage, perk chart. There's probably a way to make it like show underneath the clothing, not show over on top. I'll look more into that, but uh, that's gonna do it here today. When we go back, I wanna do that little Japanese mission that I had set up there. Hopefully, we can get the barber chair fixed, like figured out. I don't know why it's, I don't know why it's acting weird. So. Other than that, everybody have a good old day and uh, peace out.